this is the Robert Mensah Stadium, the former home of Ghana Premier League side Ebusa Dwarfs. And we know the stadium is named after arguably the best goalkeeper to be produced here in Cape Coast and by Ebusa Dwarfs. They have a knack of producing great goalkeepers. The likes of Joseph Carr have all come to Ebusa Dwarfs. It appears right now though, they are on another fantastic journey to unleash a fantastic goalkeeper. The current goalkeeper of Ebusa Dwarfs has not only done a good job in the post, but also developed the knack of executing set pieces. At that point, we had to throw caution against the wind, and then um, when the uh, uh, infringement came, he shouted, Coach, can I come? I said, Okay, come on. So when he catches it, go and do it. You can do it. And he actually uh, stepped up, and that was the moment of glory. There is a secret we won't share with the world. Uh, well, that, that's, one, that's what we want. We make our goalkeepers. Once you are a goalkeeper, you must be the strong force behind the club. Yeah. That is a, a secret we, we don't you share. share. Yes, we don't share, but we, we make you a very strong pillar behind the club. Joseph Carr had to come and end his playing career with Dwarfs. He had to come and end because he knew he must do that. Within the Razaki, sir, aka Obolo, my name is Kipa, the Bushina Dwarfs, my name is Chef Freaky so far. On this journey, we find out who Razak Isa is and what he actually has to offer. Welcome. I depend I depend Ebusia Dwarfs, a club with its own deal of history. History littered with names of great goalkeepers, including the most feared, revered, and dramatic Robert Mensa. Goalkeepers appear to be the birthright of the mysterious dwarfs, so Razak Isa could just be another of their many gifts. Paul Ajitijani, former dwarfs PRO, has witnessed the evolution of the club for three decades. You see, there's a big secret about Cape Coast mysterious dwarfs, uh, a dwarfs. I've often said this uh, to you my colleagues in the media that when we're talking about the traditional clubs in Ghana it is only Dwarfs and Asante Kotoko that I see as traditional clubs. My reason is that a traditional club should be a club whose win defeat affects the people of the community or of that traditional area and when I look at Dwarfs and Asante Kotoko this is what I see about them. A defeat of Dwarfs Silence Cape Coast, a defeat of Kotoko, silence uh, Kumasi. We may not see the same with Accra to folk in Accra. We, can, we may not see the same thing with Olympics. So to me, I see the two clubs as the only two traditional clubs presently we have in Ghana and over the years. But the secret of Dwarves has to be with how it came to be. Football took off in December. 1903 here in Cape Coast mm. and interestingly the area that football started is one area Dwarfs also started that is the Trum and then the Flipkaku Boys School area the Victoria Park area that is the home base of Dwarfs mm. so most of the boys were privileged right from the takeoff of football to have seen footballers practicing and so on and so forth then the use of the beach mm. that has been one of the fantastic opportunities for footballers especially goalkeepers here in Cape Coast okay. they have always seen the beach front as their training ground and this has helped them with their diving skills and whatever acrobatic skills and so on and so forth and um, one would say that seriously Years back, we had a goalkeeper called Goku Spiller. Oh. Goku Spiller. He kept for the Goku 11 from Cape Coast. Mm. One Duncan. Mm. Nobody could beat him. Mm. He was the number one. So that is how goalkeepers were born in Cape Coast. Everybody looked on to that man, Goku Spiller, Goku Spiller. Then came suddenly Yashin Robert Mesa. And 
it was like a continuation. Mm. And we had car, we had Abaka, we had had other goalkeepers all coming out of Cape Coast. So it, it is something like when you come to Cape Coast, you will be challenged to be a great goalkeeper mm. because of the names I've mentioned already. And interestingly, almost all of them knocked at the gates of the national teams and also went into the national teams. So they have been the yardstick for goalkeepers coming in from Cape Coast, especially Cape Coast Mysterious Wolves. The story of growing up in a football background now seems to be the stack trend for all footballers and Razak's development follows the same lead. Growing up in a family with three other kids who all play football, Razak already had his career cut out, but maybe not exactly tailored as he may have desired. Nami Akorano Nami Bobo. Nami a player from Kumasi. Nsanami Papa Bef Papa Nyabe Fami Ba Akra. Not me be stay in Honomo. And to me be stay in Honomo Nami Betuni ne Manamo Omoye three. Now Munina players back home, pen a goalkeeper. Omoye twins. Um, Fusain in Alasan and a Salifu. Yeah, and to um, Fusain in an air goalkeeper. To me be a car home, and to Nayan in a co training. Um, together, I was uh, for the SEC, Barry SEC. I know I'm going to train in the I'm going to ball. And you know, um, you drew. Right, yeah, I'm going to ball. I'm going to be a ringer. Yeah, I'm going to be a mood. And you know, I'm going to train in Saturday. I'm going to be training because Friday, you know. Um, Friday, I'm going to be a mood. I'm going to be a mood. I'm going to be a mood. And I'm going to be a mood. I'm going to be a mood. I'm going to na <laughs> Se wana me kokoda pon mu. Se me da pon mu mo bo na ma chi mbo na ma chi na. Te coach ni se ah. Rasa ko betumi a chi o. Ndi sadia jai bo ni bo na na chi. Na mo se se wakane sa ma te. Te wana start here. Na mo start se me da pon mu. Te me da pon mu mo frame obolo 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 mbo mi sa ti sa na from eh Marginet. Te mo ni e frame Marginet. Te no hono mo na Liberty for be farm. Eh ye Liberty coach under 14. Number five, me. Number five, me. No, I'm a call liberty. Until how many? Me go keep in start here. So me da and coach. Ah, to me da coach under 14. So I me da one year and he promoted me by under 17. So under 17, we so one year. And ah, he come board tournament. So he board tournament in the moon. The tournament in the moon, I'm a far best goalkeeper. Until he babble through Ghana, no, he come board Nigeria. So he babble through Ghana, no, na must have promoted me by under 20. Yeah, yeah, liberty and a twenty. The and a twenty ni mwa ye wo hono mwa ni ritu kwa ye kubo tournament. I was a billion ne Benin Togo ne adi adi nti no. From there no na ye ba ena nombe promote me ba premier. A yeah, liberty premier. The hono mwa ni go keep in his thirty year. Regardless of Razak's pulsating performances already this season, Paul Ajete Jani recollects there were scores of uncertainty within the club with the arrival of Razak. Razak. He said he's a good goalkeeper. My first time meeting him, I was then in control as a communications director, mm. and we played Obuasi uh, High School. Mm. That was his first match for us. Some of us were disturbed by the height, but at the end of the day, we threw there and were so pleased with him. Mm. Uh, I have had an interest in him, and um, right from the very beginning, I, I used to talk to him about he standing out out of the crowd of goalkeepers that have been to Dwarves so that he can make a mark. And I would say he's gradually moving to the hilltop. Yeah. And I strongly believe uh, he'll be able to achieve it. Quite recently, his desire to take kicks. Some of us saw this long ago. Mm. He was doing at the training grounds, he was always trying to take kicks. And uh, you know, the, I, the percentage that 
it will be successful and not successful and you rushing back i should say was what did not allow the technical handlers to encourage him to do that yes but he's somebody at the training grounds he even loves playing he even loves playing the game especially when they are not using a full team and somebody should be there and they are playing generally mm. he loves to play mm. so you can see that uh, he has that skills and he knows how to kick the ball because he kicks it to the center for you to use razak isa has made history in the 2020 2021 ghana premier league season becoming the first goalkeeper to score from open play he expertly converted a free kick in the dying minutes of the game to steal a point for his side in a 2-2 stalemate against regional rivals Elmina Shark. Saturday <laughs> against club uh, NC special competition. Me say, I'm so free kick, sir. I'm a boss. You know, I never want to say me to say we. To me, I never want. I never want to cry. No man. Yeah. Ana, me to me can say. Yes, Ebiya. Me share free kick. You know, to me Ebiya. Any free kick, Ebiya, Baba da will be ano. Me Baba bo. Me pray me ho. Me say, da hono mo na Ebiya dan da ye mami ya. Me ama bo. Goalkeepers rarely score goals, and it's stranger to see a goalkeeper round the free kick into goal around the human wall. Dwarf's captain Kosa explains why the team is always ready to surrender free kicks to Razak in areas they have identified as Issa zones. I think the one against Amina Sharks wasn't his first. Uh, in the NC tournament, he scored same against um, Liberty in, um, in Deu. So I think it's, it's something he, he has been practicing and then working on. Uh, and I think it's, it's, it's been working for him. So you, you have been with him for some time. Yeah. So Give us an idea of how he's been, one, interested in doing this and, and how he's built it to this level where he can take the final free kick and score. Um, I think he, he started from somewhere and then he, because when you interact with him, he, he says during his coach level, he, he used to be a, an outfoot player before he turned into a goalkeeper. So I think that's where he, he had those qualities from. So getting into the post, he... He has trained and then built on it more to help him. Looking way back, we have goalkeepers who used to take free kicks and score, who comes forward and score as well. So I think he, it's a plus for him though, because other goalkeepers in the Premier League hasn't done the same. So I think it's, it's a whole lot of, um, I think, a, a new mode for him. And then it's, it's for him to continue working on it and then improving on it as well. So tell me, take us through what happened against Elmina Sharks again. Uh, take me through the story. You had a free kick, what happened next? Um, when the free kick came, at, at um, where it was, we, we all knew he could, he could do something. Because that wasn't his first time. He did it in, in the U, so we had the confidence in him to come and then do it. Anybody at all could have played, but then we, we know what he, he can also bring, so we gave him the opportunity. And then the coach held him forward too. To also come and then do it. So we, we all supported him, we all we were all behind him to, to just save the team that day. And then he did it. Great. So, so, so you were, uh, I mean, 90% of you on the, on the pitch were confident he was going to score? Sure. Because uh, uh. it, it wasn't his first time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you know his favorite spot yeah. around the penalty area? Around the, when it's very close to the line around the penalty area, we, we would give him that chance yes. every day to come and play. It's rare to see a goalkeeper so eager to score goals, but goalkeepers of Razak's calibre are also erratic. The hunger and desire he has to bend set pieces is one that Busan Dwarf's coach Thompson describes as the one they need to keep inspiring 
and growing the confidence of the younger goalkeepers. During the game, we realized we had missed a lot of the uh, set pieces that we had in front of our opponent's goal. And at that point, we had to throw caution against the wind. And then um, when the uh, uh, infringement came, he shouted, Coach, can I come? I said, OK, come on, let's go. They called the defenders to go back and then uh, uh, position themselves where they can also clear the ball should there be any rebound. So when he got told him, go and do it, you can do it. And he actually uh, stepped up and that was the moment of glory. <laughs> and it, it's something he, 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 he likes doing. Mm. You realize you know, when we are training, and yes. he wants to move out to come and then mm. kick. So we need to inspire him and then give him that confidence. Mm. And it's really helping. Razak may truly be part of a modern generation of football where technique of goalkeepers is scrutinized as much as their traditional responsibility. Considering he was once a winger, his technique as a goalkeeper should not come as a surprise. Dwarf's head coach Thompson believes his technical ability is amongst the best in the world, but for someone whose quality precedes him, Razak's goalkeeper trainer commends not just his dedication to training and desire to seek improvement, but also his application, which has an edge over the other equally good shot stoppers. He's, he's, he's a very good uh, kicker of the ball when it comes to even ball distribution. But anytime he has the ball in his possession, he has to kick. Uh, I, I hope you would have a glimpse of what he yes. can do. His yeah. kick even, it's a plus. It's a plus, wow. And he, it's, they are always a pass to our players. Mm. Yeah, mm. so it's, 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 it's a good uh, a sign of a goalkeeper doing all these things mm. in the team. Yeah. Mm. 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 I don't know what Nicky King do. I'm a passer. Okay. No more there. Some ball be bam. Situation be ball. Outside it is set pieces, sir. Or put my car back. Nicky King is not the same. What is the same thing? Anytime you're a good trainer, you're a good trainer. You're a good trainer. Special. Now I'm going to two more bobe 15 boss for free kick. Now, since I was starting to say, we're coaching, which are you keeping? Are you good or free kicks? I'm going to be Makalado, Okay. Other golfers. Okay. Yes, about that second year, I guess. I'm going to be a good one. I'm going to be a good one. But I'm going to be a good one. I'm going to be a my car do not have free kick. Oh, but papa, papa, you are special. Some test, you are a match. Even penalty cramp, but banana or robot. Free kick, banana or robot. Do you share my money? Razak, I think you are. Razak, you are a super bitch in Adonism. Yes. Razak will punch. Or bonus or about the goalkeeper. She has her first match here. She will be here. Goalkeeper, you are a talent, but punch. No, 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 Managing the praise could get complicated. Razak's experience the night after was an interesting one. I feel in the let me say many ajipa because any any easy sir say uh uh any a mean now much my baby shagu na I get you know na any easy because na course in the door so we frame it we frame it radio stations frame it gene team like as a TV stations no more frame frame in it and the same day. I'm not going to be there. 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 So Razak Isa, the Busadwaf's goalkeeper, may be a long way out from having a stadium being named after him like the great Robert Mensah. But who knows? George Adi Jr., Joy Sports.